Also developing this afternoon on Detroit's east side, police are investigating a deadly double shooting. We've learned that one man was killed, another person is in the hospital. After bullets started flying during that home invasion, local force Nick Monticelli has been following this story for us all morning long. He joins us now with the very latest as police are continuing to look for their suspect. Good afternoon. We have learned a lot of things about this story since the morning show today, learning that the victim, one of them has died, a 34 year old male, and also the fact that the home where this happened at was raided by DPD last week for drugs. We now know the shooting on Park Grove this morning on Detroit's east side started as a home invasion. Detroit investigators say around 530 this morning, someone knocked on the door and those inside opened it and at least one suspect barged inside with a gun. Two men were shot, a 52 year old who was in critical condition and a 34 year old who was killed. Evidence technicians were brought in and so was one of Detroit's canines hoping they might be able to track the suspect. Police did get a tip about a man hiding in a nearby abandoned home. He was taken into custody, but it turns out he wasn't involved. As for the shooting that killed one and hurt another, the captain of the 9th Precinct says there is likely a motive. There is a strong possibility there may be uh, drugs involved. Uh, just a little background on the house. We know that it was raided in the last couple of days, so we believe there may be some connection there as well. All right, so let me tell you about something else DPD is currently working with. The homicide detectives on this case are having a pretty hard time getting anything out of people. Everett and Karen, there were two other people inside of that home, and they're not cooperating. They're not telling detectives what happened. They say they're having a real problem with this no snitch policy on the streets right now. Very frustrating. It's helping police find the person they're looking for. Hopefully somebody will come forward with information. Nick, thank you.